almost there. Yes. That's exactly what we've got to do, so let's go. The longer you wait, the harder it gets, you know. Camellias. As the opening of spring makes this old man's heart sing, I feel the beauty of the hours as the camellia blooming flower floats by on gossamer wings. Come on, give it here! Why should I? It's mine! Oh, right! You're not doing anything with it, you're just hogging it! What I'm doing with it is none of your business! Oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry! It wasn't on purpose, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. I didn't do that on purpose either. Uh, you bitch. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh you want to fight me, do you? What did you think? Oh, I no. think you should be driving a oh. space box. Oh, yo, yo, Ayaka, don't, don't you, you ever get enough? Right. Tanshi, Ayaka stepped on my foot because she's jealous. Oh, <laughs> sure. She took my broom from me, so I taught her a little lesson in courtesy. That broom was lying on the ground, Princess Airhead. <gasps> Look how you twist things around. I left it there to give it a rest, you troll. Ryoko, you just never know when to let up. What? Are you saying this whole thing was my fault now? No, I'm not blaming you. Oh, so you're saying that it was my fault then, Tenchi? I'm not saying that. Make up your mind. Whose uh, side are you on? Whose side? Uh, She's right. Um, it's about time you choose between us once and for all. Now, who's it going to be? How do you mean? You can take the lovely princess or the ugly ogre. It's up to you, but choose. Choose the twit! I dare ya! I'm trying to find the logic here. Logic has nothing to do with it. You are indecisive. That's the whole trouble here. Just tell Miss Space Pirate to go back to the Dog Star and say it clearly. Ha! This is the perfect chance to get rid of that little ditz. Let's talk about this later. <laughs> Come, Come on, on Tenchi, Tenchi, you, you must, must decide. decide. Uh, oh. Ah, look out behind you. It's a bear charging down from the mountain. <gasps> Is it? Why do they always have to put me on the spot that way?
And that's how it happened. Tenshi simply vanished without a trace. Princess! Princess! Huh? Hello! Welcome, Welcome home to Jirai! Hmm... To the throne room. Father. Nobuyuki. I just saw the police. I reported Tenchi as a missing person. Ah, I see. The autumn has come. It has been six months. <sighs> six months and no word. If Tenchi were alive, he would have contacted us. I can't bear to think what might have happened to him. Nobuyuki. Tenchi is strong, and he knows the ways of Jirai. Mm. Try to have faith. Believe in Tenchi. Yes, you're right. A single clue. We'll search. Yep, we've got Washu's orb. I'll be your waitress. Can I take your order? Oh, well, let me see. I think I'll have a double hamburger. Japanese style with chicken risotto. Yes, sir. All right, then. Let's see if I have this right. You would like one double hamburger Japanese style and one chicken risotto. Oh, and would you like anything to drink with that? We have fresh brewed coffee, which is very good. After we finish eating. Hmm. Tenshi should be in this area, according to Washu. Well, I hope that she's right. Oh. Ryoko! <laughs> I'll deduct it from your salary. Hmm. The bathhouse closes at 10. 
I think I'll pass tonight. I know we have to, but holding down a job while we search for Tenshi is so draining. We're lucky that they hired us without references. Everybody comes in there to talk. We might get some news about Tenshi. If we're lucky. Fall is here. Yes, the seasons are changing. It's been six months since... We've traveled to so many places looking for Tenshi. Well, I think that everything's going to change now that we're here. Now we have the orb as well. Why don't you check it? Oh, it's time to call in anyway. I almost forgot. What's up, girlfriends? Any big clues? Not even a little clue. I thought you might have something. I detected some temporal anomalies around here. They may have something to do with Tenchi, so stay in the area. Let's be vigilant, ladies. Right. <sighs> well, let's get some sleep, huh? Yes, we'll need an early start tomorrow. Ryoko. Aika. Where am I? I don't understand what's happening to me. What kind of place is this? Wake up now, Tenshi. You'll be late for school. It's a lovely day. Yes, Harna, of course. Oh, Haruna! Here, take some fresh persimmons. Oh, they look so nice. Thank you. Here you go. Darn thing, I can't get a picture. Mmm, soup with fried tofu. Well, bon appetit. Mmm, delicious. Here, have some more. Oh, jeez, that's disgusting. Didn't I tell you I don't like fermented beans? Did you? Guess I forgot. Well, it doesn't matter. Have a good day. I need you to use the Jirai network. 
You have Tenchi's wave imprint. Search for traces in the temporal netting. Sasami, can you do that for me? I'll do my best. Way, sleeping beauty, how about waking up for a while to help me look for Tenchi, huh? Uh, shut up and leave me alone. I couldn't get a wink last night because you kept talking in your sleep like a chipmunk. I do not talk like a chipmunk. You're the one who always grinds her teeth, and last night you even uh, farted. Right, like princesses never do. <gasps> Tenchi is nearby. <gasps> Ryoko, I see Tenchi. Driver, stop the bus. Very strange. Oh, Ryoko! Are you absolutely sure that was Tenchi? Yes, but he looked different, like he'd grown older. You lost him, huh? Hmm. He was right there, and then he just vanished into thin air. Sometimes two different worlds can be partially intersected. I'll go back and review the data, and I'll see if Sasami's picked anything up. Wait! Washu! Washu! Washu, come back! <sighs> Aren't you getting cold? Mm -mm. You must be tired. I'm fine. Well, that does it. Here's the sketch. It's a great likeness. It's good, Tenchi. You think so? To be honest, Haruna, it doesn't look like reality somehow. I think it's beautiful. I like the portrait that my Tenchi has drawn of me. I think you're just being kind. I really mean it. Mm. It feels like... What, Tenchi? Like I'm dreaming. Dreaming? Being with you this way, the whole thing is like... It's like a dream, Haruna. You're not dreaming. No. Oh. You're not dreaming. You're not dreaming, my sweet. Your hands are so warm and comforting. Great, now it's raining.
It looks like I found a little lost kitten. <laughs> I thought that you had already gone home or something. And your job? Oh, I just thought I'd take the afternoon off. I see. Playing hooky, are we? I brought this. No, thanks. I'll just oh. walk under your oh. umbrella. What is it? Mm, nothing. Just thinking how handsome you are. Oh, now you're teasing me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We could check real estate offices today. <sighs> yes, guess we could. What? You're sad because you got a smaller piece of bread? Huh? Did you eat the rest? <laughs> Wonder what they're doing at home. What do you think, Aika? Huh? I think the house must be quiet and really lonely without us. He's around here. I know it. Sasami is at the Jirai Royal Palace. And Kioni and Mahoshi are at the Science Academy. And we're on the road, following the clues, trying to keep hope alive. Tanji, you big fathead! Where the hell are you? That's right! How could you leave a wonderful princess like me? I'm here waiting for you! Forget about her, just come back to me! We'll ditch Ayaka and then we can play! What? Face it, oh. I'm the one he really likes. Oh. You're just in the way. Oh, 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 the reason that he left! Yeah? <sighs> oh, it's my. been a while since we fought like this. Yes, it has. Thank you for trying, Ryoko. Stop it. I got a reading! Oh. No attention! Meet me down there! Him. That girl who was walking with Tenchi, who is she? How the hell would I know? I have to know who she is. Ryoko! Ryoko! <gasps> uh, yes? The customer at the counter would like some coffee. Huh? Oh, yeah! Hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Broke a cup? What's wrong with you girls today? 
Sorry, it was an accident. I guess I'm a little tired today. Ouch! I'll clean it all up. Get a bandage for that. Go on now. Thank you. <laughs> huh? Aika? Mihoshi, I really mean it! Yes, the main databanks of the central computer. These dimension stabilizers are absolutely off limits. If I get caught hacking in here, I'll be behind bars forever. I'm home. Sorry I made you worry. <laughs> Lord Tenchi, it's really you! Lord Tenchi! Are you awake? No. Who is that girl we saw? She looks so content, you know. Laughing and smiling. I've never seen anyone so radiant with joy. Who? That girl? No, I mean Lord Tenchi. It seemed like he'd forgotten about us, like we didn't exist. <sighs> Is she really that precious to him, Ryoko? Is he so in love with her that he can't even see us at all? Just who is she? How did she meet Lord Tenji? Why is he with her? Who knows? I don't know anything more than you do, Aika. But Lord Tenji and her are together! Sorry I yelled. I didn't mean to. You want to go home? <laughs> what? If you want to give up, I wouldn't mind. I understand if that's what you want. Oh, we both saw it with our own eyes. It's been six months since we were with him. That's a long time. Maybe he's gone beyond our reach. He looked older and more mature. And he seemed happy. And the girl, she was very pretty. But Ryoko... <laughs> Things change, Aika. He may not want us to find him. Have you thought about that? Well, don't torture yourself. <laughs> You'll get all worn out. It's bad for the complexion. Ryoko, you're so strong. Go to sleep. I lost him again! 
Ryoko? I'm getting tired of Tenshi. He's such a pain. What did you do with that portrait, the one I had pinned up? It's torn. Haruna, you must have done it. Why would you wreck my portrait? Huh? <laughs> Haruna, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled. It was just a sketch. It's not really important. Don't worry about it. Let's forget it. Come on, maybe we can go out and eat for a change. You'll feel better. We'll find some cozy little place and we can go window shopping. design of this one it's beautiful mm, it's a little bit expensive mm, we should give it back mm, no don't I want to buy it for you you do oh Tenji no. mm. and would you care for more coffee sir nope okay enjoy your meal she sure is full of energy today very good would you like more coffee? Yes, please. This is nice and fresh. What are you so cheery about all of a sudden, Princess? Nothing. I'm simply back to my naturally optimistic self. Who knows? Lord Tenchi could drop by this very restaurant. Anything is possible, you know. Fine. Enjoy your work, Miss Bright Eyes. But remember, you're still at minimum wage. Minimum wage is better than no <gasps> wage at all, Ryoko, if you get my meaning. Now your customer <laughs> is waiting for you. I was only kidding, of course. Work, work, work! Here's your order, sir. Huh? I didn't order that. Oh, really? Uh, you sure? Uh, this is your order, sir. <laughs> well, we've got it all straight now, and here's your bill. Huh? Hey. What, what's going on? It's Tenshi. He's right there. Marina, I really hate to say this, but I think I went a little overboard. Hmm? We'll have to watch our expenses to make payments on these rings. I'm still glad we got both of them. Don't worry about the money, Tenshi. Uh-huh. But you don't bring in much money, and I don't have much either. Hey, look at that. It's funny when the macaroni sticks together like that. <laughs> Tenchi! Lord Tenchi! Tenchi? Can't you hear me, Tenchi? <laughs> Maybe this is a woman thing, because I sure don't get it. Clue me in. Is macaroni really that entertaining, or am I missing something? No, I'm sorry. Jeez. 
Jeez. It's strange. I don't think he can see us at all. I know, but why can't he? Tenshi! <gasps> oh, he's not really there. It's like he's an apparition. Mm. Look at me. I'm right here in front of you. Just look! <gasps> oh. My head hurts. What? Oh, Tenshi. <gasps> I'm here. It'll be all right, honey. Mm -hmm. uh... Ah, you bitch! Give me back Tenshi! Uh, 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 I can't reach them. Who are you? Tell me! Let's go home, sweetheart. Okay. that you're returning to Earth now. Yes. I am sorry that you had to travel all the way to Jirai, only to leave without finding the answers you came for. Princess Asami, I'm sure Lord Tenshi will return to you in time. Mm. It must run in the family. Lord Yosho was exactly the same. Huh? Long ago, when he was young, Lord Yosho disappeared suddenly just like Lord Tenchi has. Can you tell me that story? When he left this planet, he gave up his royal throne, and all for a love that could not be fulfilled, for they could not marry. The girl was very beautiful. Her name was Camellia, also known as Haruna. He was right in front of us. So close. And then it was like he just faded away. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that? Mm. It's like a nightmare, but it's real. It's worse than a nightmare. At least with a nightmare, you wake up. What the hell is going on with all this? I need an explanation! <laughs> Jerry, not. Incidentally, Tenshi didn't just vanish into thin air right before your eyes by any chance, did he? <gasps> Washu! How'd you know? We didn't tell a soul. A parallel world? You are saying that there's a world that exists in another dimension and it's right next to our own? Yes. It's like a mirror of our world. In a sense, it's countless light years away, and yet, in a flash, it can be on the very spot where you're standing. Washu, are you telling us that Lord Tenchi no longer exists here with us in the real world? He pops in and out of it, like a mirror reflecting another mirror. But a reflection can go away forever, Washu. True, but he's not stabilized in this mirror world yet. His thoughts keep bringing him back here. 
That means we have a chance of reaching him, but it won't last long. Of course, you know, the one who pulled him into this mirror world was Harana, and she'll try to keep him there, too. That girl he was with! Mm-hmm. How can we get to him, Washu? We've got to reach him! First, I'll calibrate the intersect probabilities of the two worlds, ours, and the parallel dimension where Tenchi is. You can do that? Oh, sure I can, but only with the Science Academy's dimension stabilizing system. With that, I can even change the orbit of a planet if I want. I've already sent Kioni and Mihoshi to break into the Science Academy, although it is a little bit dangerous. How much time do we have to do all this? Well, even now, Tenchi is becoming more and more a part of this parallel world. That's why we have to work as fast as we can. As soon as Mihoshi and Kioni complete their mission, I'll send you two into action, so be ready. Don't you want me to pose for you now? You never ask me anymore, Tenchi. No, I think I'll call it a day. I don't know why, but I've been having terrible headaches. Yes, you do look a little bit pale. Maybe you better not paint for a while. Mm-hmm. Are you coming? Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about this room and... Well, can you do anything about the color of these curtains? What? Well, any color but pink, you know? How about beige or light blue? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you didn't like them. I'll change them tomorrow. Thanks. <sighs> what is it? I'm afraid. Afraid you might go far away from me. Ah, oh, don't be silly. I'm just not feeling too well. We'll go to bed early tonight. Hmm? <laughs> I'll be fine after I get some rest. Haruna. You must have been so lonely. Lord Katsuhito. Oh, Washu. What are you doing here? Sasami found out about Harana, and she told me about it. Ah, I see. Lord Katsuhito, we don't have a lot of time. Tenchi's being drawn more and more into this other world farther away from us. Now I need some answers. He's in danger? Yes, I guess you're right, Washu. I'll tell you everything that happened when I was a young lord on Jirai. Haruna had the most beautiful eyes I had ever seen. I loved her very much, but that was long ago. Haruna and I left Jurai together. We journeyed to a distant planet, Earth. But the long journey through space was too much for her. She fell ill, gravely ill. Thank you, dear. For the flowers, you mean? Not that. 
for everything you've done. Thank you. Don't talk about the past, Haruna. Think about the future. Everything we'll share together. I landed on Earth and buried her in this ground. And beside her, I planted the tree that had lost its master. You mean you brought that tree from Jirai? Yes, you see, each Jiraiyan has a special tree that is theirs only. This was hers, this beautiful camellia. Afterward, when I saw the tree take root and spring back to life, bearing flowers as beautiful as Haruna herself, that's when I decided to live in this land as well. I wanted Haruna's spirit to know the majesty of this planet and to grace it with her own beauty. So, as I grew older, wherever I went, I planted the branches from that tree, so she was always with me. Then the tree behind the Masaki Shrine is one of them? Yes, it's from this tree. It was when I planted that branch that I met my wife, Itsuki. She was different from Haruna. She sparkled with energy and excitement. Soon, our daughter Achika was born. And so Achika grew up and married Nobuyuki, and then in time she gave birth to Tenshi. Yes. When I married again, I believed that it disturbed out in her spirit. She must have felt betrayed when I found so much joy. Joy that she and I never experienced together. So that's it. She must have taken Tenshi to experience the life she never had. She was so kind and gentle. I just don't want to believe it. I thought of cutting down this tree to find out. Look at it, Washu. Can you see that it's dying? It mustered all its energy, trying to bloom one last time. That's when Haruna's soul was awakened from its deep sleep and she remembered all she had lost. Haruna must have wanted desperately to feel the love that had been taken away from her so long ago. But why did she take Tenchi instead of you? That's what I don't get. Tenchi has a tender heart. I am old and weathered now, but he is like the young man she used to know and love. I've never seen this girl. She's not real. She's just an image that I'm painting, an idea. Oh, how can I explain this? I feel this presence and I have to put it on canvas. Why would that upset you when it's all imaginary? I just don't understand it. I don't like her. That's all. You don't like her? Why is that? Explain it to me. I have to paint what's in my heart and in my head, you know that. How can you hate a sketch, a piece of art? This is impossible. What's going on here? Why is this happening? I don't even know who I am anymore. I feel like I lost myself somewhere and I don't know where. Uh. Tenchi. Uh. Do you... Do you love me? H Haruna. Uh. Do you love me? Huh? Uh, uh. 
You know the answer. I need to hear you say it. Do you love me? Do you? Uh, I love you. Will you love me forever and ever? Yeah. Will you stay with me forever and ever? Uh-huh. Look at me. Keep your eyes on me and never leave my side. With the Dimension Stabilizing System, I can create an intersect between our world and the parallel world. The problem is powering the field jump and focusing that energy on Tenchi. I'll need several relay points. Now where am I going to find a Jirai energy source here on Earth? Energy in a fixed form that I can pinpoint and harness. Well, an organic life form would sure do the trick if I could find one. That's it! The camellia trees that Lord Katsuhito planted, they'd be perfect! We're here! Hmm? You two are the top. Hey, I rhymed. Oh, by the way, I have another mission for you. Another one? When would we go? <laughs> now, of course. That's it. I'm powered up and locked onto the spot where Tenchi first crossed over into the other world. If Mihoshi and Kioni can set up the relay spots, we'll be ready to do a field transfer. Washu certainly knows how to make the best use of human resources. Here it is. she had to make it look like her. Is it my fault I get lost? They always make the directions so complicated. Left, right, and all that. Hey, that's it! Mission accomplished. Tenchi, we're gonna find you! Tenchi, your dinner is ready. Mm, uh, I don't really feel like eating. I made a nice salad with lots of greens. I thought it would give you some energy. Here, try it. What's wrong with this thing? The antenna's connected, but I can never get anything on the screen. Ugh. What's going on in this world? I know. The money we save for the ring. I'll use it to fix the TV. What 
What's this? What happened to our account? This is just crazy. Don't think uh. about it, Tenchi. Just put it away. Don't think about it? What are you saying? <laughs> something is wrong here, and you know what I mean, Haruna. What is it? I'm tired of being kept in the dark. You're hiding something from me, and I can't take it anymore. Uh. Uh. If you won't tell me what's going on, I can't... Uh. Oh, Tenchi. Are you all right? I don't even know anymore. I hope you can uh, forgive me. I'm so very sorry. Uh, I just wanted uh, to have a happy life with you. That's all I ever wanted. Uh, uh, mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. I love you so much that I've made you my whole world, but now... I don't think I can keep loving you like this, Haruna. It hurts too much. No, please. Dimension stabilizing system is on. You ready, Aeka? Very ready. We've been waiting a long time. Pray we find him. Good morning, ladies. Feel like a little dimension jump? Oh, yes. Just say the word, Washu. Something wrong, Washu? I was just thinking. Women are so strong and daring when they're in love. Well, good luck. Women are strong and daring when they're in love. Hmm. Dry power source. Intersect locked. Our two worlds are in line. We're coming to save you, Tenchi! Ah! 
God. Tenchi, yeah! Uh? Uh -huh. uh -huh. I know her, she's real. Oh yeah, wait till you see how real. We now, what? Ouch, I didn't quite get the landing right. Hey, to the front, Ayaka, go! Oh, everything hurts, but I'll do it for Tenchi. Oh. Huh? Here, take some persimmons. I just picked them, Haruna. Uh, no, thanks. That's okay. <laughs> you! How did you get here? Let's go. Come on with us, Tenchi. Hurry! No! I don't understand. What's happening? Tenchi, it's Ryoko. I came here for you. Ryoko? Do you mean... Have you come out of my drawing? She's just an illusion. Get out of my way! Let him go! No, help me, Tenchi. Tell her to go back to where she came from right now. <sighs> you witch, you'll pay! Huh? One, two, yeah! Come on, stretch, ladies! Up, down, up, down! Oh, uh, why did you have to do that when it was finally working? <sighs> why? Get the TV, please! You can't get away! Hello, Tenchi. Who are you? It's me, Ayaka. See? There's no way out. So hand Tenchi over now. We won't hurt you. Just give Tenchi back. I won't. Huh? You barge into my home and you make these demands. You don't know what I've gone through. I'll never let Tenchi go. Tenchi belongs here. Now go back to your own world. Whoa! What's happening? Ah! Haruna, what, what are you doing to them? Uh, I said go back to your world! Ah! Ah! Hmm? What? What in the... What is it? What's going on? Impossible. She's sending our energy pulse back here from the parallel world. I don't know. Ryoko. Hmm. You woke up. Aika. Did you think I had no power to deal with you? Trespassing into my world. Give Tenchi back! He's my man. I'm his woman. That's reality. And by the way, he loves me, in case you didn't notice. Oh, please. It's just a trick. You made him forget. How could he love you if he doesn't know who he is? He knows enough. He knows how he feels in his heart. It's very simple, really. I wanted him. So I drew him into this world and gave him what he wanted. Then why is he so unhappy? Was he happy with you, fighting over him, driving him away into the forest? Ugh. You listen! I'm not leaving him with a witch who keeps him in some made-up fantasy world. <laughs> You're so brazen. He doesn't like that. Haruna, this is wrong. It's not fair to Tenchi. Really? And are you fair to him, or do you just want him? I think we're all just the same. We all want Tenchi, and whoever wants him the most will have him. After half a century of waiting, my desire is strong. I'm letting you go, but don't come back. Extraordinary! This parallel world has a shorter axis. That's why time moves faster there. Time moves faster in that world. You saw how Tenchi looked, didn't you? He's older there. Harana shortened the time axis on purpose. 
so she could have Tenchi exactly the way she wanted him. That world is made entirely of her desires. But why would she do such a thing? Because she's acting on her emotions. She's created that world out of her feelings. I'm afraid any further scientific interference is impossible. Ugh. But Washu, if we don't go back there, what'll happen to Tenchi? Unless some incident jars his memory, he'll just remain there. And it gets worse. Tenchi's Jirai energy is keeping that world stabilized. When he gets too exhausted, the whole world will fall apart. It can't be. Ugh! Washu! There must be a way to get back there! Haruna, where are you? Tenchi! Lord Tenchi! I hear voices calling my name, but who are they? Tenchi, you damn fool! Wake up, Tenchi. You'll be late for school. It's a lovely day. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt. I nailed the landing this time pretty good, huh? You don't know when to give up, do you? That's exactly what I was gonna say to you. This whole world's a death trap. Now let him go! No, I'll never leave him. Haruna, you said we're all the same, but there's a difference between us. We don't lie to Tenchi or keep him trapped in an imaginary world of make-believe. It may be make-believe to you, but it's real to me, and now it's real to Tenchi as well. He doesn't even remember who you are, either one of you. Look at us. Think hard. I know that you remember who we are, don't you? Leave him alone! I'm not talking to you! I'm telling you he doesn't remember anything but this world. You do remember, Lord Tenchi, don't you? Let Tenchi answer, Haruna! We're from your world, Tenchi, the real world. How do you know what is real? I hold him in my arms and feel his warmth and he feels mine. There's nothing more real than that. What do you think created this world? Not science, not magic. It's the power of my heart. Very well, then. I'll reach out to Tenchi with my heart. You're not the only one with feelings, Haruna. Let's see whose heart is stronger. You don't really think you can get past me here in my own world, do you? And you don't think we'll leave without a fight, do you? That's right. We don't need weapons. Get up! I'll show you exactly what happens when you fight a space pirate. That's enough! <gasps> <gasps> Ryoko, Ayaka, stay back and leave her alone. Why are you defending her, Lord Tenchi? We came here for you, Tenchi. You don't understand how she feels right now, but I do. Tenchi. You mean that you... you want to stay here with her? <gasps> it's vanishing again! No, we don't want you to go, please! Don't let us go! Tenchi! Lord Tenchi! to go back there now, didn't I? <laughs> no more. He'll never come back to us now. 
And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> he chose her. I couldn't reach him with my heart. Wake up, Tenchi. You'll be late for school. Mm. It's a lovely day. Haruna, we need to talk about all of this. We can't ignore it. You know we need to face the truth about this world. So you remember. Everything is clear now? Hmm. Look outside. Clear skies, sunshine, everything is calm and peaceful here. Isn't that the way it should be? We can live like this forever. Happy, loving, you just need to make up your mind to accept it. Try, Tenchi. We can make a beautiful uh, life together. It's a... I don't even remember how you and I met, Haruna. Right? Why do you try to deceive even yourself? There's things I still don't know, things you've been hiding from me from the beginning. I'm right here with you, face to face. What are you so afraid of? you in no time. Just hang on a little longer. I can't, Yosho. I'm sorry. I'll never survive the landing. My journey is over. Haruna, we made it. We've come all this way. You can't give up now. Yosho, I'm happy because we did what we set out to do, and we're together. Forgive me. If I hadn't taken you away, this never would have happened. You'd still be healthy and full of life. I wish we'd stayed on Jirai. We couldn't love each other there, and now we've had this wondrous journey together. I don't regret anything, Yosho. I cherished every moment with you. <sighs> How lovely it is. You chose such a perfect planet for us to live on. I can imagine how our lives would have been so peaceful and so full of joy. <coughs> Haruna! Do you 
You love me even now. More than ever. And will you love me forever throughout all time? You know I will. Yes, our hearts will be together forever. I'll always be with you, right by your side. Then I'm content. Just think what our lives would have been like on that shimmering planet, time slipping away as one sweet day flowed into another. It will be like that, my love. Just hang on a little longer. You can do it. We'll live together, you and I, forever. In a world of our own. And we'll be so happy. Harana, are you... Are you all right, Harana? Huh? The parallel world is destabilizing. All parameters are shifting. What does that mean? What's going to happen, Miss Washu? It's collapsing on itself and it's going fast. Well, what about Lord Tenchi, Miss Washu? Remember, I said this world is like a reflection in a mirror. If the mirror goes dark, Tenchi will cease to exist. No, it can't be. You've got to stop it. I can't lose Tenchi like this into a void of nothingness. I know how you feel, Ayaka, but there's nothing I can do. It's in the hands of fate. Haruna, do you recognize me? Uh, yes, yes, of course. Only a few moments ago I saw you in my dream. No, you have it backwards. That was not a dream at all. It was a memory of our past. The real past where an extraordinary girl died because of me. Uh, it wasn't your fault, Yosho. You tried. I just couldn't make the journey. You will return Tenchi, my grandson, to me, won't you, Haruna? <sighs> I'm so sorry, Tenchi. You see, you're not the only one who forgot about his own world. I forgot about mine as well. I had dreamed of living with the man I loved, and that dream came to life. I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. I know, I wish I could have helped you more by understanding what you had gone through. You did help. She remembers who she is now, and she's recovered her spirit. That was your doing. Thank you, Tenshi. There are so many people waiting for you back in your own world. Return now to the place you call home. Uh-huh. And will things be the way they were before? They will. Tenji, remember this. I'll always treasure it. I want you to know I, I'll never forget you, Haruna. Yes, you will. You must. Let the memory fade away till there's nothing left but a warm feeling in your heart. Haruna, wait, please! Let go. It's time. her the parallel world is destabilized you can go to him maybe you can bring him back before it's too late forget it he'll never come back to us anyway Aika. how do you know you just can't give up he doesn't know that world is dying ah he wanted to be with her so be it oh. no 
You don't really mean that. Oh, that's not like you at all, Ryoko. You are the one who told me to believe in Tenchi. Remember? You said to never give up. <laughs> Look, Aika, you can go if you want. Uh, I wish I could be the one, of course. But you're the only one who can reach him, Ryoko. You know that. Huh? No, he's probably forgotten about us again. That's the whole trouble. But if the parallel world is shifting now, that could all change. He may actually be searching for us. What if he needed our help and we weren't there with that whole world collapsing? Oh. Yes, you may be right, Aika. With a shifting energy level, someone may be able to get in and bring Tenchi back to our world. What do you say, Ryoko? I can transport one person. It'll be tight. <sighs> You've got to do it, Ryoko. No matter what you say, I know what you're feeling. You don't want to lose him any more than I do, so if there's a chance, you've got to take it. Be true to your feelings, Ryoko, or you'll lose yourself. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Ryoko? You need to watch where you're going, you know? Right, sorry. It's all right. It's really you again, isn't it? I mean, you can recognize me and all. Yeah. Sorry about, you know, making you worry. Where's Haruna? Is she in there? No, she's gone. You don't have to worry about Haruna any longer. That's all over now. I came back here. I wasn't going to. When you sent us back, I thought, that's it for Tenchi, for good. I was going to forget all about you. I'm sorry, I really am. Huh? I know I can always count on you, Ryoko. You understand me. Oh. Thanks for coming. I know you've been through a lot. Well, don't think I'm going to take you back or anything. I just wanted to make sure you weren't embarrassing yourself, forgetting who you are and all that. Hey, let's go home. Later on, we can talk. This is the very last time you'll see this world. I know, and it's time to leave it all behind me. And 
that's how it ended. <laughs> Surprising how quickly we went back to everyday life. I bet they're going to be really tasty. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. I'm hungry. You're always hungry, Mahoshi. Mm, meow. All right, they're ready to eat. Mm. Wow, they look delicious. Sasami, can I have one, please? Watch out, you're going to burn yourself, Mihoshi. Where's Lord Tenchi? I saw him climbing up the hill behind the house just a little while ago. Hmm. I have to eat. Tenchi. Ryoko. I thought I'd find you here. Did you think I'd disappear again? Well, if you did, I'd just drag you right back. Nice to know. Huh? What? <laughs> Nothing. I think I like you this way. <laughs> uh, Roko, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Are you mad? Huh? I don't think I'd mind if you got angry. Incredible. That is not like you at all, Ryoko. Hmm. So then, I see you've taken up drawing. Yeah. I was thinking how my father used to draw when he was my age, but then he stopped doing it, you know? I like the way it makes me feel. Gotcha. And how do you feel? Like I'm remembering something I forgot long ago, something important. When I draw, I feel things I lost touch with, but are still there inside my heart. Tenchi. 